Hey guys, Brick Queen here, and I am super excited to share with you guys the fact that I have completed the Lego Wizarding World collection. You know, Harry Potter and Fantastic Beast. I have all 22 figures here, so I thought I would review the complete set for you guys. Even though some of you may have already seen the complete set, that's perfectly okay. But I wanted to share my thoughts on these. And I got my, my old turntable out. I haven't used this in a long time, but I used to. So I thought I would bring it back out for this. Uh, so let me just show you these figures up close and personal. First, we have Harry Potter with his owl and Hedwig, of course. You know. And uh, this Harry Potter is uh, one of the ones with the new legs, the little legs that move. I did a whole video about the legs. You can check that out if you're interested. Um, but it's kind of medium legs. I like this Harry Potter. I think it looks really cool. They did a really good job on this one. And if you take the hair off, you can see there is no second face, however. But still a really nice uh, minifigure, in my opinion. Uh, feel free to disagree if you want to. But anyway, so... We have lots of figures to go through. Next up, we have a new version of Luna Lovegood. And she's holding a quibbler. Pandemonium at the Ministry. Unfuzz the Mystery. Um, really funny looking quibbler, honestly. Um, and I love that uh, her skirt, they actually gave her like the cloth skirt piece rather than just printing it onto her legs like the old one. And the hair that they gave her is so much more like Luna. I think they did a really good job on her. And she actually does have a double-sided face. She has like the one that's like the regular face. And then this side with her glasses, which I love. They did such a good job on this entire series, honestly. And, uh, sorry. I'm going to have trouble with this, um, <laughs> putting them actually on the stand with their little stands. Maybe I shouldn't attach it so well. Um, so next up we have Draco. And some of these have accessories. They have so many accessories they can't hold them all. So he's got a green broom, which I, I think is a little odd because I thought his broom was black. Like, because he had like the Nimbus, was it Nimbus 2001, I think? And I thought they were, those were black. So I'm not sure why they decided to give him green, except for that's just Slytherin color. And maybe that's why, I'm not sure. But he also has the Golden Snitch, uh, which you can also get in the Quidditch set uh, that they came out with, which is cool. And then there's his wand, which he's got too much stuff to hold. But still, cool figure. Very, very awesome. And take his hair off. He does not have a second face. Uh, but, let's see, he does have a little bit of back printing. Nothing super fancy, but it still looks good. Um, I certainly have not gotten to what I think are some of the best figures yet. Um, although, I mean, Luna Lovegood is really good. They did a really good job on her. But, some of my favorites are kind of in the middle, a little bit closer to the back, maybe. Um, and I have... I have dropped Crookshanks, so sorry about that. Um, so I think they could have done a little bit better on Crookshanks, maybe uh, a new cat mold, but that's okay. Um, I still like the Crookshanks that they gave her, and Hermione looks great. Basically the same outfit as Harry Potter. Um, they just, you know, hers has a little clasp in the middle. It's like, it's like Harry Potter's outfit, but closed. You can see, pretty similar. Um, which it should be because they, they did basically have to wear the same thing. And then there's the back. No second face. Um, not a lot in this series have a second face unless, uh, unless they actually like, you know, have multiple personality disorder basically, um, are the only ones that, that get it usually. Um, and then we have, for the first time ever, we have Cho Chang. And, uh, and her owl. I don't know her owl's name. I don't know if they ever said. Um, so if you do happen to know, feel free to let me know in the comments because I don't know. Um, it's a good looking owl. I like the printing on it. 
but I just don't know if it had a name. Um, but anyway, I do like that they gave her a skirt piece like Luna. They did a good job on that. And let me go ahead and take her hair piece off if it will allow me. Maybe I'll just take the whole money figure off. Well, it's not cooperating. Um, she has one of those like kind of squishy hair pieces. It kind of got stuck there. Um, and no back printing. Well, I mean, no, no second face is what I mean to say. She has a little bit of back printing, nothing fancy. But anyway, let me just kind of put her back like that. And let's check out the next figure. And I don't know. I don't know if I should use this turntable or not. I'm going to set it aside. Um, and I'll just pick up the other figures. You guys can let me know in the comments if you prefer me to use the turntable or not. Um, and that'll help me decide whether to use it in the future. Next up, we have Ron Weasley. And I love the hair that they gave him. I think that that's awesome. And he does have scabbers, which looks great. And, you know, he's kind of got the same outfit as, uh, you know, Harry and Hermione, but his kind of looks a little bit more disheveled, which is perfect for Ron. That's very fitting, I think. Um, no second face, and basically the same back printing as the other two. Next up, we have one that I have already done a, a separate video on, which is Mad-Eye Moody. And in addition to this uh, Polyjuice Potion, which is, you know, it, it's just a maraca. It, it's, it's a maraca, but still awesome. In addition to that, uh, he also gets his stick, which I don't know if there's anything really special about his stick. It's just the stick he used, he carried. Um, he's got his wand, and what is really, really awesome about him, my favorite thing, is that you can switch this around and give him the other hair. And now we have Barty Crouch Jr. I think that is just so cool. I love that they did that. Um, I would like to see another version of Barty Crouch Jr. where it's not the, you know, with the polyjuice, like just like his regular look, basically. I think that was cool too. But that's also because I like David Tennant. He was my favorite doctor on Doctor Who. Um, but anyway, uh, just the printing on Mad Eye Moody. I think they did a really good job on. The torso looks amazing. His face, both faces look awesome. Just love it. And like I said, that's another one with all those extra accessories. I'm just gonna kinda try to sit back there. And we have a brand new and amazing Professor Trelawney. And this is another one that I've already done a, a separate video on, comparing her to the old one. She's got this awesome teacup and the plate on the bottom actually does come apart. That's a separate piece. And that plate is printed, which is awesome. Love it. Because, um, <laughs> you know, she reads the tea leaves, so she's got to have her teacup. So I think that's awesome. They did a really, really good job on her. I think she looks amazing. I love this hair piece uh, with the bandana in her hair. It's just perfection. No back printing, but that's okay. On the gray, on the front, it looks absolutely amazing. I don't know why I'm taking her off the stand. Um, <laughs> next up, we have the other version of Harry Potter that's in this. And this one has the invisibility cloak, which looks awesome to me. Um, <laughs> of course, it's, you know, just basically super shiny on one side. But on the other side, this, they actually, you know, did... Uh, make it look a lot like it did in the movie like because this is supposed to be when he first gets the invisibility cloak um and when he first like opens it up it, this is what it looks like um very similar to this printing on here um and of course he's wearing his pajamas which is perfect for that um because that's what he was wearing when he opened it he's got his wand there and then of course when he when he put the invisibility cloak on Basically, he looked like a floating head, and that's kind of what this looks like now. So I think they did a just absolutely amazing, like, perfect job for this. Uh, I love it. <laughs> and another thing to note is they changed the hairpiece between these two because of the age difference. Because when he was a kid, his hair did look more like this. When he was a little bit older, his hair did look a little bit more like this. 
So I'm actually glad that they gave him different hair pieces. I think they did a really good job. So that is the second row. Let's go ahead and start with the third row. We have a new version of Dobby, which I know a lot of people have said that the, the face looks more like Creature. I don't think it's necessarily like Creature. I just think that Dobby's face looks a little young. It's kind of like a, a really young looking version of Dobby to me. I don't know if that's just me, but I don't know. Anyway, he also comes with a new diary. This is Tom Riddle's diary. And if you remember in the movie, of course, you know, basically, um, Harry Potter rigged it up to where Dobby's master gave him a sock in the diary. And there is that sock. So I think it's really cool that they uh, included that. I think that was the perfect accessory to give him. I know they've they've give they have given him the sock in the past, but I like that they actually gave it to him in the diary this time. I think that's perfect. And next up, um, oh, I thought I thought I dropped something for a second. Anyway, next up is the new Dumbledore, which is another one that I've already done a video on um, comparing. There's more comparisons I need to be doing, but I haven't gotten to the rest of them yet. Um, this Dumbledore comes with, um, the, uh, oh my gosh, I had it. I said it, uh, when I did the Dumbledore video and now I can't think of what it's called. Um, this is the thing with the memories in it, the pensive or pensive or however you say it. That's what it is. Um, sorry, it took me a minute to think of what it was. Um, I could not think of the name of it. Anyway, um, it also kind of looks like uh, you know, the thing that they, um, that he had to drink out of, uh, to get the one, uh, Horcrux out of. It's similar to that, but this is definitely supposed to be the memory one. You can see that it's printed on the bottom. It looks cool. Um, I think you could use it for the other piece too, if you really wanted to. But anyway, this is an awesome version of Dumbledore. Nothing on the back, but still very, very cool. And if I can just take this apart, I can show you his torso, which also looks amazing. I love the printing on his torso. I think they did a really good job on Dumbledore. And next up, we have Flitwick, Professor Flitwick. Um, and I think this is a really cute little version of him. Um, it does look a lot like him. I think they did a really good job. And I like the hair piece a lot. I think that's awesome. Oh, and another thing I didn't actually mention uh, when I was looking at Dumbledore. Dumbledore is holding the Elder Wand, of course. And if you want to see a custom version of it, go check out Brick Titan's channel. Um, he did do a custom. So anyway, Professor Flitwick here. Nothing really on the back, but he does have little coattails. They use a little cloth piece to give him coattails, which I think is cute. I think they did a good job. And... Then we have another new character they have never made before. Well, I don't think they have anyway. If they have, I don't remember. Um, this is Dean, uh, I want to say his last name is Thomas. I think it's Dean Thomas. Um, but I think they did a good job on him. I love that they gave him the scarf um, that goes all the way down onto the pants. That's just awesome. It makes him unique, um, makes him stand out. I love it. And he's got a printed Gryffindor flag. It's only printed on one side though. The other side is just a red flag. But still, I love this figure. I think they did a great job on this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the Harry Potter ones first, and then we'll look at the Fantastic Beast ones. So we have, you know, he who shall not be named. We have Voldemort here. Um, and of course they can't really do a second face on Voldemort because it would look really weird. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, they did with Quirrell, uh, Professor Quirrell. Anyway, let me get Nagini back here. So this is the new Nagini. The old Nagini was just basically like a regular green snake, uh, but this looks awesome. And right at the very end, so this the end of the tail looks a little odd. It's, I mean, I don't know that he would do this necessarily, but 
you can actually make a minifigure hold the end of the tail. Which I didn't realize when I first opened it. I didn't notice that until later, but I think this is just an awesome, awesome looking snake. And they're using it as the basilisk in the uh, the micro Hogwarts. The micro build is like 6,000 pieces. So I think that's pretty cool. Next up, we have Neville Longbottom. And I, I know I kind of set him on the stand a little weird so that I could do this. So he can just kind of pick the mandrake up. And uh, I, the mandrake, I think, is better than the old one. But it's still, it has room for improvement, in my opinion. But I do like that they gave him the, the pot with it, too. And he does, if I can get his hair off, he does have a double-sided face. There's his other face. So it's like he's passed out on that side. You can pretend like, uh, you know, he's already heard it scream. He's passed out. So I think that's awesome. And the last Harry Potter figure is Cedric Diggory, which I think they did a really good job on. Um, I like the Triwizard Cup, but I, I don't know. Um, I think they could have done a little bit more with it. I don't know. But it's still cool. I love that it's printed. Um, the old one, they, they've given us a Triwizard Cup before, but it was, it was just a cup. It didn't have anything on it. So it's, this is a nice looking version. And I think they did a really good job on Cedric Diggory. They even have like stripes down the pants. So I think he looks awesome. They did great on him. And now... We still have the uh, Fantastic Beast minifigures to look at. So let's start with Jacob Kowalski. Um, I think he looks awesome. He is hilarious in the movies, or in the movie, um, I should say, because the next one's not out yet, but he will be in movies, plural. <laughs> um, I, at least I think. Anyway, so in his little suitcase, he has some goodies there. That looks like a cinnamon roll, and I'm not sure exactly what that one is. Uh, but anyway, just some goodies he's got. He likes to bake, so I think they did a good job on him. The torso looks awesome. The face really does remind me of him a lot, so they did a great job on this figure. And next up, um, a figure that I repeatedly repeatedly get the name wrong on um, because I, I keep wanting to call her Goldie but it's actually Queenie Goldstein so this is Queenie and she is carrying one of uh, the baked goods from Jacob Kowalski <laughs> so I think that's awesome I think they did a great job on her too um, and at the bottom it actually has black painted around the edges to look like shoes, which I think is, uh, they did a really good job on that because she was wearing high heels and I like that it's, you know, just kind of, just kind of painted on. They did a great job. I love that they thought about that and her whole outfit looks awesome. I love her little dress. This little blue dress is really cute and the hair fits her perfectly. So, um, no second face, but still love it. <laughs> and next up we have, you know, basically uh, the main uh, main bad guy here. Um, <laughs> we have um, <laughs> Percival Graves. Um, and you can actually, they did give you the other hairpiece. So, I mean, this is a really cool hair piece, though. I like that it's got the, the two different colors on it. And you can switch this out so that you do have the actual, like, really bad guy. Not, the, not just the disguise. You actually uh, do have um, Grindelwald here. And I think that looks awesome. I like his torso a lot. It definitely reminds me of the movie. Um, there's the, uh, back and, you know, of course the, the face is just Percival's face. And then, um, we have, uh, his face. So I, 
I love this entire minifigure series. Um, there, I've only got like three left to look at, but the entire series is awesome. And this is Credence, uh, what's his last name? Barebone, I think, or something like that. Um, so Credence is a really interesting character. And I don't know if, if everybody realizes this, but the actor that plays Credence is also the Flash in uh, the new DC movies, um, which I think is awesome. It, the, he clearly has a huge range for acting. Um, he's a really good actor to be able to pull off both of those parts. Because um, I didn't, it took me a while to realize that was the same person. Um, he's also got a little pamphlet thing that says, Witches Live Among Us. They did a perfect job on his torso. It looks just like the movie. They, I couldn't have asked for anything better on that. And uh, he does have a second face. This is kind of when he loses his mind, essentially. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about. But I like the way they did his eyes for this, where it's like he's just starting to lose it. I just love it. They did such a good job on the entire series. Next up is uh, Tina. Tina Goldstein. I think um, it's uh, Queenie's sister, right? I, I think. I mean, they have the same last name, so I think they're sisters. Um, so she has a great outfit. Um, definitely, definitely looks like the movie. Um, and awesome hair slash hat piece. And she also has a second face, which is nice. I'm surprised that they gave her a second face, honestly, because it doesn't, it doesn't really add a whole lot to her. It's like her mouth is slightly open. She's kind of smiling on this side and she's kind of, I don't know, not really frowning, but just kind of a regular look on this side. And she has a hot dog. And I think that's what she was like holding a hot dog when they first met or something like that. Um, something like that. I don't remember exactly, but anyway, still awesome. 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 And Last but not least, we have Newt Scamander um, with Miffler. And actually, if you look at his torso, which if I can get my camera to focus good, um, <laughs> on his torso you can also see the bow truckle uh, kind of, um, you know, just sneaking out, um, peeking out from his jacket there, which I think is awesome. And Lego did a an amazing job on Niffler. Niffler is adorable. Um, I liked Niffler in the movie, um, and I just think that they did a great job on this. And this is definitely going to be my favorite version of Newt, just for the fact that they put the little bow truckle on there. Um, I just love it. And there's the back. Just a very awesome uh, figure. And then also he's got his suitcase, because, you know, that's kind of a big deal with him. It's, it's a pretty big deal for him to have a suitcase. It does appear to be empty, but, um, you know, that's, that's just pretend. This is the muggle-worthy version, right? This is, this is a muggle-worthy version. You need to put, like, a sock in there or something. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I just love this figure. I think they did a fantastic job on it. And so, unless I have accidentally skipped anybody, I think... I have looked at every single one of these, and it is really hard to pick a favorite, um, but I would say top, I don't know, top three or four out of this. I really like um, Mad-Eye Moody and Trelawney, this Dumbledore, the Newt, um, Luna Lovegood. Okay, I, I can't even pick. that. That's like five um, of my favorites. <laughs> anyway, let me know what of all of these, which ones are your favorites? Are there any that you think Lego could improve on? And what others would you like to see if they do a series two? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I will see you guys later. Before you go, click my minifigure to subscribe or click Brick Titan's minifigure to subscribe to his channel. And if you've already done that, click the picture to see more of my videos. And as always, Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.